so simple and will feed a crowd. Welcome to your guardian chef, your angel in the kitchen. Today we are making pork tenderloin with apples. This roasted pork recipe is a culinary chameleon. It offers the flexibility to add any vegetables, making it a great way to empty the fridge for a weeknight family meal or curate a gourmet meal for a special occasion. Also, you can use other fruits besides apples, like prunes, figs, and why not pineapple? These are the ingredients you need. The measurements are in the description below. Before you start, peel and chop all your fruits and vegetables. Season the pork with salt, pepper and olive oil on all sides. With a long knife, create a lengthwise hole in the pork, ensuring space to infuse flavours from both ends. Stuff the pork loin with lemon peels, cloves of garlic and rosemary. Sear it in a Dutch oven, turning it around on all sides until golden brown. Toss in diced onion, chopped carrots and apple slices. Optionally, you can add chestnuts to the mix. I added sweet carrots. You can also add rosemary, a bay leaf or thyme. Crumble a stock cube and stir briefly on medium heat to melt the flavours. Cover your casserole or skillet and transfer the pork to a preheated oven at 430 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 220 degrees Celsius. Aim for a total cooking time of 1 hour and 30 minutes. After 45 minutes, turn the pork and introduce broccoli to the mix. Cook for another 45 minutes, then remove it from the oven and deglaze it with half a cup of cognac. Remove the pork from the pan and let it rest on a cutting board for 10 minutes, covered with aluminium foil. Place the cooked vegetables and apple in the serving dish, creating a base for the pork. Slice the pork and place the slices on the serving dish over the vegetables. Keep it warm while we make the gravy. On a low heat, pour half a cup of cognac into the pan, a cup of water or chicken stock, and a tablespoon of cornstarch. With a wooden spoon, deglaze the pan drippings to make the gravy. Allow it to evaporate to form a rich, thick sauce. Pour some sauce over the pork and serve the rest at the table in a sauce boat. This pork casserole is a hearty dish all on its own. You need to choose a side dish that won't overpower it. Here, I serve it with baked risotto rice, but you can also serve it with roasted potatoes, polenta, or even Yorkshire pudding. For more beef and pork recipes, check out the playlist above. And don't forget to subscribe. This is not a pizza, so you can put pineapple. It's very good. <laughs>